Hey guys, Karak Sivy here with another video. This time I'll be doing a follow-up to my review of the Deluxe Tiger Dora, where I showcase various Avatar gears that I didn't use in either that review, or ones that weren't seen within the reviews for the past two Avatar gear sets. As well as interactions with the uh, Ryu Konogeki and Zangla Sword. So, let's get started. So, Here's the selection of gears I'll be showcasing today, as well as the items I'll be using to do so. Though I will just say, they won't be doing every possible interaction because some are a bit redundant compared to previous interactions, such as using one of the main change gears with the Tiger Dora and Zangla's Sword, because that basically doubles over to what happens when you use it with the Dawn Blaster and Zangla's Sword. We'll start off with the gears. For Sentai that did not have deluxe equivalent 6 Ranger gears. First one of these being Go Busters. So we get Beat Buster. So there we have the standby sound from the Morphin Blaster. Then the sunglass sword. And there we had the gold and white lights represent beat and stag buster. Next is the Cure User Gear. We have a change for Cure You Gold. You come get key. And that gave us the finisher from the Xandar Thunder. Xandar Thunder. Then Tokyuger. There we have the finisher from Tokyo Rokugo's weapon, whose name escapes me at the moment. And the Sunglass Sword.
and Joe Drew Gear. For a duo with the world, and this is Ryu Kong Geki. With a special attack from Geo with a gun rod. And there we got the purple, gold, and white lights to represent how your other world's three colors are black, gold, and silver. Then the Pat Ranger gear. There we got Pat Ren X. And then Ryu Kono Geki. <laughs> With the summoning sound for X Train Gold. Sword. And we'll set these on glass sword aside for a bit. And move on to the gears for the main five Dwayne Brothers. So, first, Don Momotaro. Saru brother. Sister.
in your brother. Then Keej brother. And we'll bring back in Izanga Sword. Move on to the next set. So then we'll use these in Kaiser Gear. Then the Don Momotaro Alter Gear. Then the Don Zenkayo here. And then, for the sake of not being too redundant, we'll just use one Robotaro gear, being Don Robotaro.
And finally, I'll show off the Dondora Goku Altar and Toradora Gonjin Gears with the Don Blaster as well as the secret interaction between the Don Blaster and the uh, Sangla Sword. And finally, I'll be showing off the Dondora Goku Altar and Toradora Gonjin Gears in the Don Blaster as well as the secret interaction between the Don Blaster and the Ryukono Geki. First we have the Altar Gear. So that basically was the same as if you were to use the Dondorgo or Tora Bolt gears. And then we have the Toradora Gonjin Robotaro gear. So I'm going to do that one more time so you can hear properly. As you hear, it said secret. And that leads well into the secret interaction. Now normally, if you do a quick press of the two together, you get that special attack. However, if you use any gear with the Dawn Blaster and then uh, press and hold down the Yukon Geki until the end of the standby, You get the Dai Gat Tai combination sound for Toradora Onitaijin, the combination between Toradora Gonjin and Don Onitaijin. And there we go! So, overall, I hope this gave you guys an idea of what kind of sound you get from the Tiger Dora when you use various Avataro gears with it, as well as the different interaction with other devices. Now, one thing I will note is that while for these five Sentai here, there are no deluxe Sentai gear sets being released. I have seen that they'll have equivalent six ring gears released via Gachapon and Candy Toy, but I don't really plan getting those because it's very difficult to get those kinds of gears on their own or for a good price. And this also gives you an idea for how technically a lot of the gears in sets five and six are unnecessary if you have the equivalent Sentai Gears, or Sentai Avataro Gears. So the main two are the kind of exclusive gears for those sets. But it is nice how you get the different directions, and also have different directions depending on whether you use it with the Ryukon Geki, or the Zangla Sword. So, there we go. Next time, I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Toradora Gonjin. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.